Hey guys, it's Jen. I'm here with a book haul for you today. First of all, though, I'd just like to point out that behind me there is no purple. I've spent the last couple of days painting my closet, which is where I am right now, is my closet. And I'm now waiting on bookshelves to come in from Ikea. I think I ordered five shelves because I have over 600 books and all I had was like little tiny three shelf shelves and no room for books. So I'm turning my closet into a little library kind of because it's a ridiculous closet and it's as big as a room. I don't have the clothes to fill it, but I do have the books to fill it. Anyways, getting on with my book haul, um, the first book that I got this month is Lock In by John Scalzi. I've heard some pretty amazing things about John Scalzi and wanted to try out one of his books. Um, this book is about a virus that outbreak that affects 1% of the population by locking them in their bodies. So essentially they are conscious but they cannot move at all. So it sounds kind of scary and I'm looking forward to giving this one a shot. The next book that I bought is one that I'm really excited for and that is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. It is beautiful, I've heard amazing things about it, and it is now my, my book club's read for May. So I will be reading this one sooner rather than later. The next seven books that I got are from Book Outlet. Yes, I should avoid Book Outlet. But the first one is Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. I've heard a lot of great things about this fantasy series. I love fantasy, so I really would like to get this one read. I don't have the first book yet, but hopefully I'll be able to pick it up soon. I'm probably going to be buying that one from Chapters because it always sells out so fast off of Book Outlet, which is essentially why I was quick to grab this as it was. The next book is one that is by one of my favorite authors, and that is A Such Wicked Intent by Kenneth Opal. This is a Canadian author and that I discovered when I was in middle school because I read the, the Silver Wing series and I absolutely loved it and pretty much since then I've just been looking for as many books as his as I could possibly find and I just love his books. And this one here is the second book in a series uh, that is called The Apprenticeship of Victor Frankenstein. So it's a re Frankenstein retelling and I really enjoyed the first book so hopefully I'll like this one as well. The next book that I got is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about this other than that it takes place in Paris and it's contemporary. I'm hoping that I'll like it. It sounds like something that I would like. I like a good fluffy romance occasionally. And I just thought I would pick this up because it was on sale. The next book that I got is essentially the whole reason that I put in an order for Book Outlet because I've been really wanting to read one of this author's books and that is Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepetis. I love historical fiction and this sounds like it would be right up my alley because it takes place in the French Quarter of New Orleans so I'm looking forward to it. The next book is The Remedy by Suzanne Young. This is a prequel to the program duology that she has out. I really enjoyed the program. I haven't read the treatment yet but I'm hoping to read it soon. I do own it and then I'll probably read this one eventually, but hopefully I will like it. The next book that I got is Half Bad by Sally Green. Uh, this one is about a witch who is, I believe, half white, half black, or half good, half bad. Obviously half bad. Um, I'm a little ashamed to admit that even though this book has been out for a few years and I've seen it all over the place, I only 
recently a couple of months noticed that this is a vase. I don't know why I didn't notice it sooner. I thought the cover was interesting, I just didn't notice that it was a vase. I've heard some pretty good things about this book so I'm looking forward to it. And the final book that I got from the book outlet this month is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I've heard some pretty good things about this book. I know it's about twins who are barely talking to each other so it looks like it would be something interesting. Uh, it sounds like it's right up my alley so I hope I enjoy this when I give it a read. The next book I got is one of my pre-orders and that is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. I loved Vampire Academy and Bloodlines as well as Game Board of the Gods so I'm hoping that I'll enjoy this one as well. I haven't read Soundless. I just couldn't pass up on this one because it sounds so good. All I really know about it is that it's about a girl who runs away to avoid an arranged marriage and goes to the Glittering Court which is a school that will train impoverished girls to become upper class women. So hopefully I'll enjoy this one since it is in a school setting and I do enjoy school settings. And the final book that I got this month is The Winner's Kiss by Marie Bertkowski. I am really looking forward to finishing off this trilogy. I haven't read the second book yet but I am planning on reading it next so hopefully I'll enjoy that and then jump right into this one. We'll see but I've heard it's a great ending to the series so I'm really looking forward to it. So these are all of the books that I got in the month of April. Um, it's more than I'll probably get all year long, hopefully. I know there's quite a few books coming out in May that I want, so we'll see. But yeah, let me know down below if you've read any of these, and let me know what you got in April, and I will see you guys later. Bye!